Uh, I, I'm only going to give an initial briefing. I'm not going to answer any questions at this time uh, because it's still ongoing and active. But we uh, in this city joined a long list of cities this year that have had school shootings. Uh, so at 9.55, officers responded to uh, shots fired inside the school district of our school uh, building of Ingram High School. Uh, officers immediately uh, responded into the actual building and tried to provide uh, treatment to the victim that was down. Uh, at this time, we only have one victim. Officers uh, then gave search uh, for the suspect. Uh, at this point, we are working to actively identify the suspect uh, and currently are searching for that suspect at this time. We're not going to provide any information on the victim details as well as the suspect details, but just know that right now it's a currently uh, active investigation. We are also working with families to get them to their loved ones. Uh, we initially, uh, inside the building, are identifying those uh, uh, people that, are, that knew uh, that what happened and saw, uh, observed the incident and identifying those because we need to interview them and the rest we're trying to get them released so they can get to their families and loved ones. Uh, right now we're actually uh, getting people, many of the families, to the east side of the uh, pool, uh, uh, to the east side of the uh, pool so we can get uh, those families reunited with uh, the students. Uh, we're working with the school district. Uh, we've actually, the fire department uh, also responded inside the building with us uh, and also be, it was able to take over uh, some of the treatment of the victim. Currently, the victim is no longer on scene, um, and we're working on uh, that right now. Our, because this is an active investigation, typically our homicide and assault unit is the one that actually does the investigation. They're actually responding out to the scene, and we will be processing the scene as well. We will be providing updates, hopefully, uh, periodically throughout the day. And, uh, and at this time, this is the information that we're going to provide. And thank you so much. I appreciate it. Chief, can you clarify where parents need to meet up to, to find their kids? There's some confusion there. So uh, right now, uh, we're going to be providing updates with the school district. Uh, and they're going to also provide as many updates as they can. Uh, but I just actually been uh, provided information that the suspect is in custody. Um, so the, that is a, one, a very quick response. All right, you've been listening to Chief Adrian Diaz. Just and then we're, because we were able to identify the suspect, uh, be able to get him into custody as quickly as possible. But right now, we'll have to provide updates uh, periodically. We'll probably use a lot of social media. Uh, the school district will also be able to, you know, be able to push out calls about where the specific uh, uh, reunification area is. Many of the families are trying to get closer to the building, uh, but we're not going to push them back. But we prefer to be by the pool so we can actually do some of our investigation. Chief, <laughs> so, over on 100.